Gamers, welcome back. If you are watching this video right now, currently the Battlefield Hardline Open Beta is up on Origins for everyone to try out. That's what I'm currently playing. If I have to describe what I'm playing right now, it feels like I'm playing a Counter-Strike COD Payday Battlefield sort of game. So the game, as usual, uses the Frost Engine, and Frost Engine is quite amazing. It's optimized, everything's running at 60 FPS, the graphics look fantastic. The game looks and plays and feels really fun. However, and I'm going to be quite honest with you guys right here, the game does feel like an overglorified $60 mod. The modding community, if you don't know about this in Battlefield, is dead because Battlefield doesn't allow for mods. So this gives the developer their own hands-on on mods. And this is what it feels like. It's a mod. That's all it is. But it's a fun mod to play. In this open beta, they gave you a new mode called Hotwire to try out. It's basically a capture point mode where instead of capturing the point and just staying there, you grab a car from that point, a specific car, and you drive off as fast as you can, draining the other team's ticket. A very interesting gameplay, very chaotic and very fun in a way. But, however, if you are a lover of the racing genre and you understand how racing game works, what annoys me is the fact that people are calling this game the Fast and the Furious Hotwire mode, or they're comparing the Hotwire mode to Fast and Furious, which is absolutely untrue, because if the Fast and the Furious had a video game, the driving and physics would probably be better than this game. If you don't believe me, go try the open beta yourself. It's sitting right there for you to try and get in a vehicle. For Battlefield 4, it works because you're driving tanks and high-tech vehicles where they're slow, they get shot down, and they explode on the spot. Boom! It works real well, but when you're playing a game like this where the vehicle's on fire and it's still moving, the physics and handling is very important. And for this one, they feel like ass. That's all I gotta say about it so far. Other than that, guys, go check out the open beta for yourself by downloading Origin. Of course, I can't wait till for the full game to actually review it and check it out. But from my initial impression of the beta itself, that's how I feel about it. You know, unfortunately, there are certain aspects I don't like about it and aspects I find that is fun. And fun is very important for me. So I'll probably enjoy the game, play it for a while, and then move on to the next game. Because it doesn't seem like the game that will grab my attention in the long run. God damn it, EA. Just, just give us Battlefront. Just give us Battlefront. Alright? Have a good day, guys, and game on. It is another zombie apocalypse. Oh yeah. That's right, the apocalypse, where every other survivor who play this game is an asshole 